I'm scared. I'm in public. I'm sitting in my car and wait, there's someone driving by. Oh, there's another person. This is so embarrassing. Someone just started cutting their lawn. Time to go find a new spot. You know what? No, I'm going to try to face my fear today. I have my iPad with all the questions on it and I'm going to answer them. I didn't even say what I was doing today. That's how bad I'm at this. This is how bad I am and how nervous I am. Oh my God. Okay. I have a smoothie, by the way. I just got, actually, I just got home from vacation like a couple hours ago. You know when you have that like spur of creativity though? I had that and I got home and I was like, okay, I need to film. So I asked you guys like 20 minutes ago to ask me questions and you guys came through. You guys asked a lot of questions and I appreciate that because that's really last minute of me. But I have a whole bunch of questions and I'm going to answer. Oh, that's, I have a whole bunch of questions and I'm going to answer. Wait. Uh, there are only like two separate messages, but I screenshotted 20 questions that I thought were really good. I kind of thought it was how to do this because the last Q&A I made was six months ago, and I also hate that Q&A, like, a lot. And I know people are like, Josh, you probably put in time and work for that. I did, but I still hate that video. It's just embarrassing. Don't watch that video because we have an updated one now. So, after that, I kept talking for, like, five minutes. So, I'm going to save us all and just skip to the part where I do the Q&A. Okay. I'm just going to start with the basic questions. First, how old are you? I'm 17. The last Q&A, I was 16 but that's how time works. How long have you been doing YouTube videos and have you always wanted to make YouTube videos? I made my account in March of 2020, March 5th to be exact. I actually remember, I told my parents, I was like, hey guys, I wanna be a YouTuber. I gave them like a whole cringy speech, which is kind of embarrassing, but kind of nice. That guy's looking at me and I kind of wanna fall asleep right now forever. That dad cutting his lawn right now is definitely judging me, but you know what? I'm gonna get over this. It's gonna be okay. We're working through it. Um. What was the question? Oh, oh, YouTube. I wanted to be a YouTuber since grade three. I'm pretty sure that's when it all started. I finally started posting videos about a year and a half ago, I think. Yeah, and they were really bad. You can watch them if you want. Some of them are still up. Some of them I took down because they were just too bad to stay on the internet. But I started to grow on YouTube like a month ago, actually. I started to repost my TikToks on like the YouTube short things, and those just randomly started to do really well. And so here we are. It's a great time. I love making YouTube videos. They also asked how to grow on YouTube. And for me, I didn't really have like the normal YouTube experience where I post YouTube videos, but I would just post consistently. I think that's the best advice I can give because if you post once and it doesn't do well, that's okay. Just keep posting and I promise you one day you'll get where you want, you'll reach your goal. You got this. Oh, there's a car. Let's pretend this is not happening and I'm going to get my wallet because my, this is really embarrassing. I'm sweating a lot right now. <laughs> is that TMI? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. The next question says, okay, so advice on first kisses. You're talking to the most like single person ever and the most like unexperienced person ever. I meant to say inexperienced, but it's okay, I'm dumb. So do not come to me for relationship advice. Or you can, it'll just be really bad relationship advice. People also ask if I'm dating anyone right now. No, I'm not. I am currently in a relationship with myself. myself. I'm finding myself. Okay, that's a joke. It's not a joke though, it's good. Self-love, do you vape? No, I don't vape. Don't vape if you're watching this, but if you are, I can't really judge you for what you're doing. Just be safe. That's all. What are your favorite foods besides ice, smoothie bowls, and matcha? See, that's mean. I'm not even... Did anyone else hear that? That's so mean, though. How Those are my favorite foods. Um, Pizza probably be my second favorite. I don't make videos about pizza because it's kind of boring, but pizza probably be my answer. But matcha, smoothie bowls, and ice are still my favorite. Favorite thing from Trader Joe's. Okay, so I just got back from my trip in the U.S. I live in Canada, by the way, if you didn't know. And I went to Trader Joe's. I posted a whole bunch of TikToks and a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about Trader Joe's. And I brought these with me because I want to snack on them. But my favorite are the Scandinavian swimmers. These are the sour ones. I love them so much. And then also the the, the coconut covered walnuts. I think they're cashews. I think they're walnuts. But those are so good. What was your favorite part about the United States? Okay, so while I was there, I think my favorite part was... Trader Joe's. I have to be honest, my favorite part was Trader Joe's and the beach. We went to Sandpoint, Idaho. It's so nice there. If you're ever in Idaho, definitely go to Sandpoint. This was my second time there. It's great. I love it there so much. What's your favorite show? My favorite show is Stranger Things. Whoa, I spit. I'm sorry. My favorite thing is... Thing. My favorite show is Stranger Things and my favorite character in the show, which someone else I think asked that too, is Max and Steve because they carry the show. What's your go-to smoothie bowl to make? Actually, instead of answering this question, I have a whole video on how to make my go-to smoothie bowl. It's actually like the exact same title as your question. So, go watch. How do you and your sister stay so close? We definitely fight a lot. I think every sibling fights a lot, but 
I don't know, I think I've always just been a person that doesn't like doing things by myself, which isn't always a good thing, but it's kind of nice just always having someone in my house to do things with, so my sister and I have always just kind of been like, hey, wanna do something? And we're like, sure. We've always kind of been like that though, so I don't think there was ever a point where we were like trying to get closer. We kind of just always were close. My sister's probably gonna say otherwise though. She's probably gonna watch this video and be like, I'm not close, I actually hate him. Speaking of my sister, welcome to a segment called Questions My Sister Asked Me. Okay, first up, are you and your sister twins? Actually, this one like kind of goes back to the how are you and your sister so close? I think we're actually so close because yes, we are twins actually, first of all. But since we were like in the same womb together, that just really gives a bond. We were born with that special bond, so that's what made us close. Next question my sister asked me, would you ever get a tattoo? Yes, actually. I would like love to get a tattoo of my sister's face, but on my face. Like on my forehead, maybe like a photo of her, just like right there. I'll put a picture of what it would look like actually, but that would definitely be something I want to get. Next question is hottest minions character. I think that's a really weird question because like minions is like an animated show. I don't think any characters in the minions are hot. Anyways, biggest pet peeve. This like this boils my blood. Like if someone does this, I want to push them into the stream. Not actually, but like a little bit. A li a little bit. I hate slow walkers so much like with every bone in my body if someone is walking in front of me and walking slow <laughs> oh i hate that who's my favorite singer taylor swift it's, i said that in my last q a too always oh, taylor swift someone also asked what's your favorite taylor swift song i've really been liking cardigan again right now i've been listening to that a lot lately folklore is my favorite album from her that just changed it always used to be a reputation but i've really been liking folklore lately so i think it'd be a song from the album i didn't answer that question very well because i'm kind of just like looking at myself like Good lighting, weird lighting. I'm gonna answer the next question like this. Okay, favorite smoothie to make. I've already answered that. It's, or I didn't really answer it. It's in that video though. Why am I putting it back there? It's not over there. It's in a video on my channel. So go watch that. Have you ever thought about posting your smoothie bowl recipes in the measurements? Yes, I do. I actually do do that. I do that on my Instagram. It's Josh with two H's, Allen with three L's because Josh Allen was taken. Put it in my description too. It's always in my description actually, but go follow my Instagram. I have like a highlights of all the smoothie bowl recipes I have and I think it's pretty helpful. I probably should have screenshotted some more because I don't have any left and I talk really fast and I didn't realize how fast I talk, but it's okay. Favorite circle ice you've made? Definitely the, um, ooh, actually, I don't know. I was acting like I knew the answer to that question. Um, probably the blue lemonade ones. It's just so cool to have like blue ice. That's so cool. Come on. Oh, okay, there's a car passing by me. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Whoa, what was that laugh? Did you guys hear that? It kind of sounded like Spongebob. <laughs> I'm so annoying. This lighting's really pissing me off. The last question I'm going to answer is what are your goals for social media? Honestly, I'm just really happy where we are right now. I cannot believe where we are right now. It's really insane. I think the goal that I always had was to reach 100,000 on YouTube. Even though I didn't really post much on YouTube, that was just an insane goal to reach. Thank you guys so much for that. I don't really think I said thank you, like with my voice. I like posted a little thing on my YouTube comment thing, but I really appreciate it so, so much. Um, other than that, maybe hitting a million on TikTok. That'd be crazy. Like I can't even think about that because we are so far away still. I think I'm at 770 maybe. So that is far away. That guy's bl blowing his leaves. So this is probably a sign to wrap this up, but I hope you guys all have a good day. You guys are the best. If you're not having a good day, I hope it gets better. And I hope tomorrow's great because you deserve to have a great day. Facts. If you guys aren't subscribed, you should subscribe. If you want, you don't have to. You guys should go follow my Instagram because I post a lot on there. I'll see you guys next time.